Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Presidential Elections. It's the last and final one of the week, and this is arguably probably the worst presidential election to happen in our history. I don't know. It, it just depends. But it also depends on how you look at it. So, we're talking about the election of 1912. This election took place on November 5th of 1912. You have four candidates! Yeah, and I have to leave in about five minutes, so hopefully this won't take too long. Uh, your first candidate is Woodrow Wilson of New Jersey. He is a Democrat. He got 435 electoral votes. Does that number sound familiar? He got 600... He got 6,296,284 of the popular vote, and his running mate is Thomas Marshall. Your second candidate is Theodore Roosevelt, who was, you know, a previous president of New York. He is a progressive. He got 88 electoral votes. 4,122,721 of the popular vote, and his running mate was Hiram Johnson. Your third candidate is William Howard Taft, the current president from Ohio. He is a Republican. He got eight electoral college votes, uh, 3,468,000 or, I'm sorry, 3,486,244 240, of the popular vote. And his running mate is Nicholas Butler. And fourth and finally, you got Eugene Debs of Indiana, who is a socialist. He got no electoral college votes, because he didn't win a single state. He got 901,000 551 of the popular vote. And his running mate is Emil Seidel, in which his name is spelled E M I L S E I D E L. I don't know, your pronunciation is about as good as mine. How many electoral votes were needed and how many were there in total? Well, in total, there were 531. And you need 266 to win. So, yeah, the reason why Roosevelt ran again is because he saw that Taft didn't really do a lot, so he ran to split the Republican vote, which led to Wilson to beat both of them, plus a third party, you know, just a random guy from Indiana, single-handedly. Which is why this election is one of the worst, and probably the worst, in American history. So the turnout was 58.8%, in which it went down 6.6%. And Ohio did vote for the winner. Yeah, Ohio voted for the winner pretty much all of this week. Which gives our overall total of 4 to 21 to 7. Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you on Saturday where we have a bonus episode of Mario Kart DS with my younger sister at, you know, my old house because I recorded all of that way ahead in advance. And stay tuned on Monday for a new uh, election episode where we talk about the election of 1916, right in the middle of World War I, but America's still not into it. We'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, click on the circle to your right. If you would like to see the last series on this channel, click the square on your left. The last series done on this channel was The Census. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.